Let's talk about mixes. I'm sure we all know the car test cliche and the challenge that it can be getting your mixes to translate on different listening sources. Using good studio monitors with a flat frequency response will make your mixing life much easier. But the reality is most monitors and headphones will have some amount of sound coloration or sound signature and your mixing environment or your home studio will obviously also impact how you're hearing your mixes. Sound ID Reference is a software from today's video sponsor, Sonarworks. It's designed to calibrate your studio monitors in your environment to deliver a flat and accurate studio reference sound. Meaning that the playback you'll hear from your monitors is gonna be more accurate when you're mixing, which will hopefully, ideally, improve your mixes. I think it took me like 17 total mixes, sounds about right, just to get my last mix sounding right in the car. So I'm hoping this little microphone can help me out a little. So when you first open up the Sound ID Reference software, you'll be quickly taken through a hardware setup, and then you're gonna begin your room evaluation. The software is gonna walk you through measuring your speakers from a few different measurement points. The software does send some pretty interesting sound effects through your monitors. I did use a tape measure just to try to be as accurate as possible. Once you're finished with your room evaluation, Sound ID Reference will give you the setup dimensions that it measured. You can tweak these if they're a little bit off, but in my case, they were dead accurate. Now from here, Sound ID Reference is gonna walk you through a total of 37 different measurements. You're gonna move the mic around your primary listening area, and the Sound ID Reference software is gonna take some more measurements using some more interesting noises. Once you're finished, you get your results report and then you can save it as a calibration profile. All right, so that was actually really cool. A very in-depth process. The whole thing took about 20, 25 minutes. But if we come over here and we look at the Sound ID reference software, you can see a couple of different things. This green line is the software calibration that the Sound ID reference software is doing. These purple waves are the measurements that the microphone took. So these are what my speakers sounded like before the calibration. And then these pink simulated after waves show us that we're getting a nice flat frequency response from our monitors now. But what I'm most interested in is to see how this sounds on one of my mixes. So I am gonna pull up Logic. I've got a mix loaded in, you can see that here. And on the mix bus here, I have the Sound ID reference plugin version. So this is going to allow us to pull up that profile that we created and apply it to our mixes. So this plugin is designed to be turned on and live on your mix bus throughout your recording and mixing process and then actually bypassed when you are rendering or bouncing down your mix. If you are working with some other plugins on your mix bus, you want this Sound ID reference plugin to be the last in your signal chain. But for demonstration purposes, I wanna play you my mix, not to show you that the Sound ID reference software is fixing anything, because like I said, we're a little late in the process to be using this software, but you'll at least be able to hear the pre and post calibration. And again, keep in mind, this calibration profile is specific to my room, my studio monitors. So it may not even sound that good, but it'll give you a sense for what the software is actually doing. Now, a couple of other cool things about the Sound ID Reference software is you have this custom target portion. Much like a multiband EQ, you can manually boost and attenuate different frequencies and make your own custom adjustments. And then what might be my favorite feature is the translation check. So if you pull this menu open, you can see you have 
this menu of all of these different listening sources. You have a few different car options. You have in-ear headphones, laptops, smartphones, studio speakers. So it's cool that you have all of these options to test your mix on. Take a listen to a few of these. So now works, I am really impressed. I think this is a really useful tool and I'm excited to use it on my mixes going forward. If you're releasing a lot of music or you're working on a lot of mixing projects, this is one of those tools that's just gonna help you get a better sounding mix. It's also not a replacement for things like acoustic treatment or setting up your mixing room properly, but I think when paired with those other things, the Sound ID reference software is a nice icing on the cake of a really good mixing setup. Check out the description below for more information, including a free trial. You can try the software out, use it to calibrate your headphones if you want, but that's going to do it for today's video, my friends. Thanks again to Sonarworks for sponsoring today's video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.